Hello, my friends, and welcome back for another exploration with the divided bead frame. Pretty divided. Now, today we're going to continue our exploration with intermediate remainders, but we're going to try it with long division. And what makes it long, you say? Well, having more than one digit in the divisor. So, what do we need? A divided bead frame, a piece of graph paper, a pencil, and a strip of paper so we can record our divisor. Oh, and we'll also need a problem. Ooh, how about 93,168? We'll draw a tab below and we'll divide that number by 28. That sounds pretty good. Let's take a look at that problem. Okay, now with intermediate remainders, with short division, we made a little staircase to help guide you. We can do the same thing for this one, but it has to be modified. Your intermediate remainders may be as big as one less than your divisor. This one's two digits. We're going to need to stack some two-digit boxes on each other's edges. It looks similar to our staircase, but a little bit different, and you'll see what I mean when I hold it up a little bit closer. See how we stack those boxes on their edges? They might fall over if we're not careful. Anyway, we're ready to go as soon as we get our divisor and dividend ready. Here's eight units, six tens, one hundred, three thousands, nine ten thousands. Here's a strip of paper for our divisor, and we're going to hold it up to the bead frame and put that two tens and eight units nice and aligned with the rest of the holes on that frame. I'm actually going to clip this little bit of paper off to save for another example later. Where do we put this? Well, of course you know we always put it at the largest categories it can fit. It wouldn't really work here, would it? There's nothing there to divide. But right here, we've got plenty to work with. Well, or do we? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. That hole, remember, corresponds with this one over here. So as we're removing groups of 28, we're going to record those groups right here. Ready to get started? Me too. Okay, there's two and one, two, three, exchanging four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two, one, two, three, four, five, exchanging, six, seven, eight. There's two groups so far. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got to exchange again, eight. And bringing one down. Never forget to bring those down. Uh, but we've run out of steam here. We can't take any more out. Three groups were taken out. How much is left over? Nine. That's our intermediate remainder. Only one digit. Let's take a look at what that is going to look like. Our answer above the thousands, three, and our intermediate remainder, nine, right below that. Take a look. Okay. What do we do next? Exactly. We're going to slide down to the next categories. Ooh, will this work? Of course. Here's two taken away. One, and exchanging. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Record. There's two. One, two, three, exchanging. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Record. One and two. One, two, three, four, five, exchanging. Six, seven, eight. Recording. Wow, another three. And how much is left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's another one digit intermediate remainder. Let's record the answer above the hundreds and the intermediate remainder in the appropriate box. Here's what our work looks like so far if you're following along. Okay, let's slide to the next one. There's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, exchanging. Seven, eight. Record. One and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Another group. Ooh. Hmm. Can we do any more with this? I mean, look at what we've got left. You can see that 2 and that 0. What number would that be? At 20. Can we get 28 out of 20? No way. So let's take what we've got and record it. Two groups. How about that intermediate remainder? What number is that? 20. That 2 and that 0, let's record that two-digit intermediate remainder down and take a look at it. That's our work so far. One more digit will get us the answer. 3,320 something, right? Okay, sliding down. The last digit's going to be recorded right there. Okay, Ooh, we're going to have to exchange right off the bat with this one. There they come. There's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that worked out pretty great. There's another group of two, and exchanging one so we can get rid of the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, uh oh. One, two, three, four, nothing to exchange there. Five, six, seven, eight. What a jump! But we made it! I'm so glad we did that together. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great! One, two, exchanging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. That's it. But wait, we still have to record this down. We were able to get seven groups of 28 out. And what do we have left? 12 remaining. But that's not an intermediate remainder. Circle that one. That is your remainder. We can't go any further. So go ahead and write that one down next to your answer. 93,168 divided by 28 is 3,327 with a remainder of 12. How fun that was. Well, as you get bigger and bigger numbers and get more and more confident, you might even want to try this out with what's been used. This thing was really designed for that kind of a method of division. So practice this, get confident, and then try that style out. See you again soon.